We've covered modding video games, emulating a variety of consoles, and jailbreaking the PlayStation 3. But what about his older brother, and arguably the greatest console of all time? Well, this guide is going to cover exactly that, so let's go over the items required for this process. Aside from a PlayStation 2, you'll need a USB drive, a network adapter that has also been adapted from IDE to SATA or a cheap SATA adapter like I have here, a free MacBook memory card, and your choice of storage. You also need some type of way of connecting the hard drive to your PC. In my case, I'm using this external adapter. A link for all the items I use and the software will be in the description. First thing we're going to do is prep the hard drive. Once connected to your PC, you may need to initialize it. To do so, go to the Disk and Volume Manager and find the drive. Hit Initialize and select GPT. Then open Disk Management and find the drive again. Right click and hit New Simple Volume. Hit Next, Next again, and one more time. The file system needs to be XFAT and the name doesn't matter. Hit Next again and then hit finish. Now that your hard drive is set up, we can load games. It's almost as easy as drag and drop, but there's one additional step. In the hard drive, create two folders and title them CD and DVD. Games under 800 megabytes in size go in the CD folder, while those larger go into DVD. If you have a library of games ready to go, simply sort by size, Grab the ones under 800 megabytes and copy and paste into the CD folder. Then do the same for the larger ones into the DVD folder. After that, the hard drive is done. You can now move on to the flash drive. Follow the link to OPL download and select this link. Once the download is complete, right click, extract here, then copy the EFL file to the root of the FAT32 formatted flash drive. After that, safely remove the hard drive and flash drive from your PC, as now we can move on to the PlayStation 2 itself. Insert your flash drive, your free MacBook memory card, and your hard drive. Be sure to tighten it evenly on both sides for proper seating to ensure the hard drive is read properly. On boot, you should see the free MacBook logo and it will take you to this menu. Open this option. Press circle to open the file explorer and head to the mass folder. Scroll to opl.elf and hit circle. Once opl is running, hit the start button and go to settings. Copy this exact setup. BDM set to auto, HDD set to auto, and ETH set to off. Scroll over to OK and then to save. Hit the reset button on your PlayStation 2 after the save. Then head back into OPL, scroll over to your hard drive where you should see your list of games. If you don't see your games, head back to the settings and ensure your adjustments were saved properly. And that's it, your PS2 is jailbroken and ready to load your legally obtained games from the internal hard drive, the USB ports, or even the memory cards. You can take this a bit further in modernizing the PlayStation 2 by utilizing this 8-bit Do adapter to use modern wireless controllers with the PlayStation 2, which I highly recommend. I'd love to take this even further by doing the Noctua fan mod and the HDMI mod to make the console run cooler, quieter, and output a cleaner signal to modern displays, but uh, have you seen my subscriber count? I can't afford that. <laughs> No, but on that note, if this video was entertaining or helpful at all, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. Channel members generally get content early, word on upcoming streams, and help support the poor. So please consider all the YouTube stuff. And until next time, God bless.